What's up, everybody? A walking testimony here, walking across the United States of America for mental health awareness and recovery. Here to let every single one of you know that you matter and that we do recover. Guys, check it out. I have all of my supplies lined out. A lot of people ask me, hey, Kendall, what do you bring in the cart? What comes across America with you as you walk? For anybody just curious, we started Jacksonville Beach, Florida, January 1st, 2022. Yes, over two and a half years ago. Um, with my feet in the Atlantic Ocean, I did 13 states diagonal across to Long Beach, Washington, where I put my feet in the Pacific Ocean, April 12, 2023, which also doubled as my four-year drug-free date. Yes, I am over five years drug-free now. Super proud of myself. Now we are over 5,200 miles walked after Long Beach. I went up to Cape Flattery to hit the most northwestern point. Now we're doing all four corners, heading down to San Diego. After that, come back up a little bit, back over to Florida, down to the Keys, up to Maine. What do I bring with me? I want to share with y'all what I bring with me. Check it out. Check it out. So this is the cart real quick. Um, I got the You Matter sign, which is normally strapped to the front of this bin, and I'll explain that in a minute, but I just wanted y'all to be able to see that. My shower slides, I just kind of threw them on top of the cart. We got the Walking Across America sign. Um, it might not be super, super detailed, but it gets the attention. A lot of people see that sign. I see a lot of people's mouths moving as they drive by me. It's pretty cool. Um, then I got this. I'm collecting uh, license plates that I see, so that's why you see that there. But um, yeah, check it out, guys. Boom, empty cart. What goes in it? All of this stuff. So, correction, like I said, this bin actually goes on top of this cart. Turn that around, face it that way. That goes on the front of that. What is this bin? It's got a couple hats. I bring a couple hats with me across America. And then, of course, I got the OG Bubba Gump Shrimp Company because I'm literally walking across America. I'm not running, but it's close enough. Um, Jackery Power Station, guys. This thing is awesome. Um, an incredible lady hooked me up with this a long time ago. And um, this will basically charge one phone like 30 times at 100%. I charge a lot of different stuff so it doesn't last like that. But, of course, I recharge it. I had a solar panel I lost in Oregon. I'll get another one before I start heading back across the desert going back to Florida. But um, I've been able to keep it charged. It's really epic. I keep dude whites always close. You clean out the bin. It gets dirty, dust, and all that stuff. Um, you never know when else you might need it. Highlighted vest, of course. I did some zip ties. Made some, uh, which actually I need to use those dude wipes for that now. But uh, I made some uh, um, cup holders. So I put my water bottles in that um, to keep them so they don't go everywhere. Sometimes water will spill and stuff. I've had issues before. Got a couple headlamps with me. My Addict to Athletes whistle. Um, and my phone mount. This is how I do my live streaming. Some people think that I'm riding a bike. No, I'm walking, pushing a cart, and normally my phone is mounted to that. Here we got my carabiners. The most important part of down here is the uh, Suicide Prevention Lifeline 988. Anybody ever struggling, please know that you can call, text, or email them. There are always somebody that is going to be there for you. I promise you that, and it's so incredible that they have that. Um, somebody blessed me with this knife, and I got that. I keep it close. Got my hand sanitizer, another pocket knife, not a pocket knife, um, some bracelets people have handed me, a little fidgety tool. Um, in here, I got a couple band aids, a snake bite kit, and some antibacterial or um, you know that stuff, whatever. Um, yeah, antibacterial stuff. All right, guys, check it out. We also got a stool, um, collapsible stool, a shovel. Um, move my hats over here i got a backpack where i keep my notepad i keep my laptop i am currently working on a book i'm super excited about the book sharing um it's going to be like part of my life and the journey it's probably going to be a series of books but um i am currently working on one so be waiting it's going to be a little while before it's done but just be waiting on it um but got that got my sunglasses wallet i do wear glasses i got contacts in right now this is my extra little bag that if i'm ever just walking around town just throw a couple things in and move real quick Two things of hygiene stuff, my extra hygiene stuff, and then uh, got my razor kit, and then my main hygiene thing that I keep most everything in. Got just the, you know, the typical supplies and mole skin if I ever get blisters on my feet. Um, I keep bear mace, that's normally in one of my little cup holders up there, keep that close. Um, got my uh, <laughs> sun, sun lotion, um, sunblock. There we go. Got my headphones. Got the JBL speaker. I got a lantern. and this thing's really awesome. Got my tools in case you ever need them. Um, extra screws. Got my uh, screwdriver, um, scissors, stuff like that. I sweep out my tent. I actually always keep some extra chips because, believe it or not, that is the best tender for fire. I know I can't have no fires right now. It's the summer in California, but um, there has been times where I've had some good campfires and stuff. Um, chips are the best tender. 
this bin right here pretty much keeps all of this stuff except for that that normally hangs around the bar on my cart over there but um i got a pillow it has a blanket inside but i never actually take that out i got another blanket right there um i have done plenty of camping on this journey i know there's going to be plenty more i'm not always camping but i have done it and i don't mind it i got a tent six inch blow up mat my sleeping bag and somebody just blessed me with a hammock recently extra tough rain boots haven't had to use them in a while but those things are actually incredible i've actually worn out a whole pair in less than a year um and then an extra bag for if i've ever traveled got to go out of town or something just to put my clothes in but speaking of the clothes we got the bin got all of that um just kind of crazy got a lot of stuff over there we got um <laughs> towels the tank tops we got a um hoodie lightweight long sleeve shirt lightweight hoodie dry fit um like seven pairs of socks like six pairs of boxers all together um, two pairs of gloves, um, my Addict to Athlete little headband, gaiters for my shoes, keeps the rocks out, at, um, and I also wear ultra running shoes for anybody wondering, ultra running, they are my absolute favorite shoes, and I'm hoping to one day be sponsored by them, anybody that ever sees them, please tag ultra running, let them know I've already done over 2,500, um, miles in their shoes, and I'm probably less than two or 300 miles from retiring the seventh pair and getting the eighth pair of their shoes, um, but yeah so that's pretty much what we got going on like i said we got the cooler we got the um somebody blessed me with this cooler recently somebody blessed me with these bottles so i keep ice and keep my drinks a little bit colder got my tupperware with some extra napkins and ziploc bags in case i need it um but yeah guys got my even got my uh compression sleeves for my calves because i've literally almost had shin splints before i got a tarp um yeah this is pretty much my whole life guys all of that except for that bin which goes on top of the cart is in those bins and and just moved around in that car everything fits in there and that's what we push i think all together it's probably right under 100 pounds i used to have a lot more stuff i've learned as i go how to you know dwindle it down more use necessities whenever people bless me with stuff i try to get stuff shipped home so i don't have to carry it i used to push like 140 pound 130 pounds sometimes in Colorado like up mountains so uh, we've really been through a lot on this journey we're gonna keep going guys once we hit 75,000 followers probably on my Facebook because it has the most right now it's already at almost 36 um, I'm gonna start planning the trip to do the first hundred miles because I'm gonna do a hundred miles on each seven continents I will pick the first continent and work on the trip to go do it even if I do um, you know one or two or three of them while I'm doing the four corners so be it if not I'll do it after one of the plans that when I hit 75k when I hit 50k I'll go get the passport so please follow my journey on Facebook a walking testimony um, but if you're on YouTube or Instagram it's the same handle go show some love there as well whatever one does hit 75k first or 50k don't matter which one but Facebook is on the um, higher track guys we'll go get the passport to work on that but guys, we still got over 5,000 miles to walk across the United States. I still got to do another coast to coast and walk the whole East Coast on highways as close to it, not necessarily shoreline alone. Please follow the journey. We're out here for mental health and recovery. You never know what anybody's going through at any given time, guys. Um, and I just, I don't have all the answers and all the solutions. I can't sit here and tell you what to do with your lives. I just hope that my journey doing something drastic, just telling people those words that you matter. I've had more people cry on the side of the road with me than anything I've ever seen. Um, and share their stories and it's just been such a blessing that people are so willing to open up and just me being a man talking about mental health and recovery so openly through social media and to people in person willing to talk to people hear stories and share my stories um, it literally has been opening up so many amazing opportunities with connections with great people and it, it's not about me it's about mental health and recovery I am the person that's out here walking I encourage anybody to be willing to go out there and advocate or do something that they're passionate about for the things um, that are there for the things that they're passionate about or against the things that are taking the people that we love and care about and that's the one I'm out here because too many people are losing their lives daily to drug overdose suicide mental health and recovery and we just want to let people know that there is hope as somebody who has tried to take my life twice overdose too many times been in county jail 11 times in prison twice as of right now I am 31 with 13 felony convictions on my record I'm not proud of it at all but I'm so thankful for where I am right now like I said I'm five years drug free over 5200 miles 15 states walked coast to coast already 
already been up to the most northwestern point for mental health awareness and recovery just to spread a little bit of hope a little bit of positivity let you know that it's okay god bless all of you please never forget that you matter we do recover and once again all the supplies how crazy is that please share this guys love y'all